All right, so we're ready to go. Number 21, Northwestern heads to Minnesota to face the Golden Gophers. Northwestern, top 32 in rushing and points. Well, rushing Minnesota's forte, not much offensively. On home turf, some players to watch out for. Carl Eller with his three sacks. Eric Peters, 15 tackles, two worth fumbles. And Lawrence Maroney, finally, you guys. Here's four touchdowns. Northwestern, Davidson, who has 14 tackles and two picks. Otto Graham, not bad, 17 total touchdowns. And Meyer, who's carried the ball 385 yards. Injury report, a couple of tackles hurt for Northwestern. Glad to have you here this in the studio. I'm Lee Stig, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that is set. The Golden Gophers have felt the brunt of this losing streak, not only on the field and in film sessions with the coaches, but pretty much everywhere on deck. Some of the losing streak on field is really just takes the energy and drains the air out of the whole place. They need to get something to go right, and it would be very beneficial if that happened early in this game. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime.
second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. summary for all of you. Mario Rufo ran for a touchdown and then he returned a punt for a touchdown. Nice Johnson from Thompson. They missed the kick. I don't know why. Meyer, Meyer is pretty much why Northwestern is now 6-2. and two. Ryan got the, they got the two point. They lost. Other games, UTEP beat Marshall, Duke beat Virginia, wow, Duke's Miami being, Miami will have beat Akron, Ball State over Western Michigan, 
San Antonio getting their butt handed by Middle Tennessee. And number four, Florida beating number 20, Missouri in a great SEC battle. All right. All right. So it's number 18, Georgia at Vanderbilt. Surprisingly, Georgia's 3-3, three and three, and yet they're still in the top 25, top 20 even. Look at this. 14th in passing yards and 17th in normal yards. Whereas Vanderbilt has done decent. Top 30 in defensive points. 20. Vanderbilt stars. Parks, who's caught two touchdowns for her 425 yards. Hester, good strong safety with perfect interceptions. And Nate Holland, who's sacked some of three times in TD. And Fran Tarkenton for Georgia on the ups. 12 touchdowns passing. Herschel Walker, 533 yards, 7 touchdowns received running. And then Kilpatrick, who's, who shares with oh, Walker. Injury report. Goldberg and Ward. So a pair of big names. Goldberg out for the rest of the season one for two weeks. So Georgia's going to have to do without one of their best wide receivers and one of their best tackles. Hi, everybody. Bruce Davis with you. Bringing you the QA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show.
take time off the field. I mean, the ball is right there. All you have to do is secure it. How often do you get a chance to see a defensive lineman with an interception? He couldn't hold on to the football. Seven ten win for Fandy. Now they jump into 4-3. Georgia is definitely going to be at a top 25. Hicks with a run. Hicks with a run. Butler with a field goal. Cutler. And they missed it. 16-3. And then Walker and Hicks with a pair of friends. Basically, it was a running game attack. No passing touchdowns combined. Wow. Amazing.
It's the middle scores, Colorado State all over Wyoming 31-7. Number 11, Fresno beat UNLV 37-28. Washington beats ASU by 6. Number 3, Oregon stays where they are. They beat up on Washington State, put it up 16. Oregon State takes down Cal. 13. And number 14, Boise beats Nevada 45-27. Alright, it's time for the Week 8 review and Notre Dame losing to USC in the battle for the Joe Shillelagh, 31-21. USC running off with a 24-7 score. Palmer to Williams for a touchdown. Bush doing his job. Joe Montana running one in Bush. Another 50, a 59-year running. Dan Owl, Reggie Bush. That is more for Notre Dame, but all for naught. Stanford defeats UCLA. That's a big one. Oregon takes down Washington State. Iowa defeats Penn State. Big game. Iowa's back in the top 25. They'll be headed to Northwestern. Well, in Chicago, basically. Fresno State is number 7. What? Fresno State. Okay, let's take a look. They're undefeated, alright. They're 7 and... They're 7 for 7. They've beaten Rutgers, FCS, Colorado. They took down Boise. Boise is the only, looking at their stats, San Diego State and Wyoming are the only two, they only have two tough games out of five. They could get to ten wins. Well, San Diego State and Wyoming both are winning records. Nevada, Air Force, and San Jose is not. Team Info, they're 7-0. They've won four conference titles. Rivero is questionable. And... David Carr doing his job. Right. Wisconsin nearly beat Illinois and Vanderbilt beats Georgia. Let's go to the top 25. Yes, Fresno State's number seven in the country. Have we done a Fresno State game? Yeah, no, not. Maybe they'll get on. Anyway, so the top six are the top six in the standings. Look at all these first place folks. Oklahoma State, Nebraska, and Fresno are both getting all getting one. So it's Alabama, Oklahoma, Oregon, Florida, OK State, Nebraska, Fresno, the rest of the top ten, Ohio State, Louisville, and Stanford. Surprisingly, Ohio State and Louisville, among others, haven't didn't jump up well. Ohio State didn't play last week. Nebraska has, has didn't play last week. They both have to play this week. At number seven, it was Notre Dame, of course, that big loss too. USC, number 14, Wisconsin, is the highest seeded team not to play this week. USC's in, well, obviously, why would why wouldn't they? Florida State's at, in at number 20, Iowa State's in the top 25, and so is their rivals from Iowa. One of them. Oops, sorry. Dropped out. Number 18, Georgia's done. Number 19, Miami. Number 24, TCU. And 25, Texas Tech. Georgia Tech, 169 votes. The most votes to get in the top 25. Amazing. Media poll. Joe's no big change in the top six. Fresno moved up. BS B- poll. Oklahoma, Alabama, Oregon, Florida, Oklahoma State, Nebraska, Ohio State, Fresno State. All in there. No major surprises. Top eight in the AP Top 25 is in the PCS. Top eight. Heisman watch. Why don't we just look at the Heisman? The junior from Oregon, Mel Gray, looks good. Johnny Mansell of A&M, the fresher sophomore, second, and Van Hals drops to third. Reggie Butch, the senior, and the junior, Niall Kinnick. All jumped up. Players of the Week. Thank you. Yeah, players of the Week, that will be the last one. The National Players of the Week, Johnny Football for what he did to Auburn, and Boston College's Travis Jones for his free interception as a weak opponent New Mexico State. Um, we might try to get a Boston College team in one, one of them. Um, let's take a look at some conferences. That are big. The ACC Conference, Tony Cox of Duke, the Offensive Player of the Week. Travis Jones of Boston College, the Defensive Player of the Week, but of course. Big Ten Player of the Week, Jason Meyer for what he did to Minnesota. Michigan's Lamar Robertson for his job against Indiana. Big 12 Player of the Week, Oklahoma State's Nick Cross. Well, fellow Oklahoma State, Nick Cross and Daryl Mun- Mullen. Um, Independence, Joe Montana and Marcus Bennett. Mac, Marlon Presley for Toledo and Miami of Ohio's Richard Wright. 
Pac-12, Reggie Bush, what do you think it's going to be? Offense, defense, Scott Merritt of Washington. Big force fumble, I guess, at the end of the game. And SEC, Perf, A&M, Mansell, and Lucas.